with Laura and welcome to Nerve vs. Scale. It's been a while, a long while. It's been about two years since I made a video and um, I'm back. I won't go into details of things that have happened in the past because that is the past and we're here to progress in the future. Um, so if you do care about my past videos, you can look back. Um, I took Fintramine, my starting my weight loss journey. So I have reviews about it, how I did on it, suggestions when I go back on it. Um, spoiler alert, I did eventually go back on it. I think it's not documented on the videos, but I did go back on like two more times. Um, my body just didn't take it as well as it did the very first time I tried it. And it was different, different, different circumstances. I mean, when I first started it, I was working, I was working out, I was doing a lot of things. Now I'm, you know, life changed. I now have three kids. Um, I have a six year old, a three year old, and a almost one year old. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, crazier than it used to be. Crazier than it's ever been. And I wouldn't change it for a thing because kids are amazing. Like, seriously. I won't go into a big mom sob story about how awesome my kids are and how much I love them. Because that's not why I'm here right now. Right now is I'm back to vlogging. Back to YouTube. And first of all, I will say I will hopefully get a better setup. Better. Figure out a better way to do this. Because right now, Princess Kitchen's not cutting it. Um. <laughs> And my tripod is a Jurassic Park car on top of a box because I just don't have the things like I used to to vlog. So, why are we here? Why a video? What's going on? What, what, what do you want to tell us that you felt so inclined to do a YouTube video after two years of not doing YouTube videos? First off, obviously, I have gained weight since my last videos. Um, my last videos, I was like 180s, 190s, maybe 200s by then. I weighed in today at 252.6. It happened. No excuses. I ate. I ate like crap. I had another baby in that time frame. I didn't take care of myself. I still don't take care of myself. <sighs> so why are we here? Well, because tomorrow, tomorrow is the start of me possibly getting the sleeve. Um, I'm going to a open seminar, um, to which is what I have to do before I make my first appointment to have a consultation to get uh, the sleeve or BS BSG surgery. Um, and I'm really excited because I've done so much research, so much, and you know, for once, I think my insurance will cover it. Um, I do have Medicaid, I have CareSource specifically, and um, I never thought they would cover something like that, but after like researching it and talking to my doctor, um, yeah, they will. Um, I actually called today because I was a little paranoid, I'm getting my hopes up about this thing, and uh, yeah, the lady on the phone was amazing, you know, which is weird because sometimes insurance people aren't that great on the phone just because they get crappy calls, and I, I see it, whatever. So, for what it looks like is, with my insurance, it will cover it if, um, what did she say? Um, if your BMI is over 40, which mine is right now, you know, it, it is, um, then you just need to do a couple steps. And also, if it's under, you have to have some com comorbid conditions, which I have those. And, uh, yeah, I think, I, I think, I'm pretty sure, 100%, with a little bit of work, I think I'll get it. Because I think I still have to take, like, a, uh, a psychiatric appointment to see if I'm mentally okay for surgery. I have to do, I think, a couple nutrition classes. But I don't think I have that long waiting period of, you know, you have to wait nine months or six months. Because it looks like, from what she told me today, again, I could be wrong, but she did tell me. That if I get a letter from my doctor and I have comorbid conditions and I'm over 40 BMI, then I don't even have to do that whole like waiting period of nine months, six months of nutrition evaluation. So tomorrow, which is a date I don't remember, it's November, the end of November, and I uh, will go to my seminar. And I just want to kind of sh do a video about it, a video about my starting process with hopes that I will get it. I mean, unfortunately, I like have this like deep 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 feeling that next week I will make a video about how insurance won't cover it and we'll go from there but I feel like this I feel it's a good thing I don't know I've done so much research not just me thinking it'll work like I've read so many articles so many like policies so many procedures watched so many videos and done so much stuff to make sure this works um, I'm nervous about the idea that it you know that I'll have surgery because my mom had gastric bypass years ago back when it was like a new thing and uh, she almost died in the hospital from it um that was when they did like metal staples she got an infection so i like have that in my head and i think my mom is worried for that for me as well but it's so different now and i kind of trust it 
you know, I, I have seen people that have done the surgery and still gain the weight back. Unfortunately, like a lot of those people were women who had got pregnant right after. Good thing is, this body can't have babies anymore, so yay for that. Um, so yeah, I just want to do like a quick, like, welcome back video. A hey, I'm back. Hey, this is happening. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can document my journey for getting surgery on here and kind of help people along to, like, figure out if it's for them or if, you know, it's something they want to look into because there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of information that just doesn't make sense. There's a lot of information that can overwhelm you and hopefully I can dumb it down a little. So tomorrow I go to my um, my seminar, like I said, and then from there I make my appointment and I hopefully, if all goes well, I would document every step away. I don't think I'll be able to vlog at the uh, seminar tomorrow just because it's more of a privacy HIPAA thing and, you know, it just happens. So. I don't know if I want this to be like a first intro video or maybe make a part video and add from tomorrow in it, like my my input on it, so we will figure out from there. But anyways, I'm back and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get on this journey. If not, then we'll go back to calorie counting. Um, I won't do center meat ever again. My body doesn't like it. I won't do keto again because... It's rough on my body as well, so good old counter counting it'll be, and I'll document that because I need some sort of accountability. That's what really helped me the first time around was accountability, making videos, talking to people, because it was always that that made me have a little bit more willpower to like prove to people I could do it. And that's why like I'm a little disappointed in myself for you know it's been a couple years and I'm now back to square one, back to the weight I was, and yeah you know, that scares me. Like what if I do surgery in like two years from now I'm back to this again. I don't think that's going to be the case because it's, you know, the idea of having a cert having a surgical procedure to help me lose weight is like a little extreme and I don't know. I don't think I would give that up. I like to think I won't give that up and I like to think I won't mess it up, but you know, there's always that what if. So anyways, enough of rambling. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. I still have the same Instagram, Nerve vs. Scale. Um, I still have the Facebook page. I, I haven't updated it. I probably won't update it because I just don't care about it anymore. And, uh... Yeah, if you want to watch some of my old videos, see how my past journey was, feel free to go ahead. If you have any questions about Fentermine, please ask. I will let you know what I think about it. And, you know, good good stuff and bad stuff. Um, and keto, I know a little bit about keto if you want to about that. But this new journey is going to be all about learning about surgery for weight loss because it's the route I chose. You know, some people are against it. Some people say it's the easy way out. But... In the end of the day, as people, we're all trying to be healthier, we're all trying to be better, and it's what I chose. Um, so, that's what I think about that. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, so, like, subscribe, you know, the whole, whole, the whole jazz of YouTube, and I'm hopefully soon I will get better the hang of this and, you know, get back to having my intro, get back to having, like, everything good, everything, everything all set up, but for now, this is what you get. And I think this might be, it's already, you know, almost a 10 minute video. I think this will be like the first part of my series, of my journey. And so yeah, welcome, welcome to the crazy world of my life. And hopefully I can educate people. Hopefully you guys can watch me and see this journey I'm about to go on. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.